is I organized my garage and because it had it was a complete mess. I put all I just screwed in this pegboard and added like my rake, my broom, a paint thing, shovels. I had to buy the shovel after my little chihuahua passed away and um, that's the one I bought and then I bought another one to do some of this big yard work around here. My Christmas wreaths, I was going to put going to put them out here, but they were these are the big things are too big and I don't really want to take them off. I had to get some wasp killer to kill all the wasps. This is going to be a job to do. Look at these hedges. They were they were down to nothing last year. I paid over $1,000 to get the yard in shape last year. So I've got my friend Kevin here to help me now. This tree is so ugly. I want, to, I want to remove it and put a royal palm, which is one like across the street at my neighbor's. That's my favorite palm tree of all. That's what I'd like to put there, but you have to go through red tape like crazy to do that. So I'm still waiting for my uh, tin soldiers to dry when they dry tomorrow probably I'll put them out here and this palm tree doesn't have too much this one I gave to Jamie Casablancas on my uh, Facebook and Instagram she loves her palm tree so that one is hers this is the project of the day these were so overgrown and so nasty and to cut them all back um, Going to do a hurricane cut on them as well which is like this tree these palms were hanging to the ground so this is the job of the day and kevin is working on them as we speak and then i'm going to dig up everything out of here eventually i'd like to put rocks in here as well and this for sure is going to get rocks in because it's ugly horrible but it, it's a work in progress. It's, it's got to be done. So this house doesn't look very big at all from the outside, but it's long and skinny. This is the lanai here with the screened in. Sorry for the wobbles. Um, this is my backyard here. Share this side with my neighbor over here on this side. They're from Scotland. And they winter here as well. See, all of these need hurricane cut. They're all hanging over the lanai and um, what will happen is they'll eventually tear up the screens and then the cats live back there. I'm surprised that Cheeto's not hanging around on that wall. See, the house just needs painted. It needs painted so bad. Um, it's only six, six years old, but it just, the water sprinklers, it's reclaimed water, which I've never heard of such a thing until I moved down here or since I started spending uh, five months of the year down here. There's my new pool heater I got. So. This all needs to be hedged up too. Back here is a, uh, it's a natural wildlife preserve. There, my neighbor over here has seen a Florida panther back here. So um, th th they're never going to build back here. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. I see lots of snakes and lizards. And last year on Valentine's Day, my little puppy died and her gravestone is right here. I had these rocks got rusted from the water um, what my, when my grandkids come down, I'm going to have them write a little thing for her because they loved her so much. I miss her so bad. So this is the back of the house. I'll go up this way. Should be up there helping that poor Kevin. He's working so hard and I'm off making a video. <laughs> but this, look at this mess back here. Oh, there's Fancy Cat. I love her. She's my little rescue kitten I got at Petco. <laughs> She's a baby. She had to get her teeth pulled out last year. Um, these, see my neighbors are all nice and tidy and neat. And look at mine, they're crazy messy. So all of this has to be cut back and cut down and raked away and cleaned up. This is the window that Cheeto loves to get in and look out. This tree, I love those kind of palm trees. I love palm trees. This tree is disgustingly, oh, it's just so much work. So 
I better put the camera down for now and um, I want to show you my new puppy. I got her in Seoul, South Korea. She is a beauty and her name is Gidget and um, I nicknamed her Jiggy. So, uh, okay, the, I have painted the um, tin soldiers with polyurethane, polyurethane spray clear so it will protect them a little bit. They're pretty protected under the roof here but I just love them they came all the way from Indiana along with the wreath and Jamie Cosmo I'm sorry I'm out of breath I've been working hard that uh, that tree has been pruned back and it's so pretty it reminds me of you and um, can you see the actor on that that is why I'm out of breath so anyway it's about like I said it's about 80 today it's hot and I'm done I'm gonna go hit the pool Thanks for watching, you guys. Stay safe, happy, and healthy. Okay, I am done for the day. I just wanted to show you one more thing. I don't know the association laws and the laws here in my city might be different, but I just took, wrapped all of those up in a rope. There's like two, three, four, five, six big bundles, but it looks so much better. <clears throat> I can't wait to get this house painted. It's just, like I said, it's a work in progress. So there's, I'd say probably 80% of the people that live in this neighborhood have other homes, winter homes, or summer homes someplace else. So it's kind of, um, but then the ones that do, they come down earlier and stay longer than I do. I'm gone seven months, so it takes quite a bit to get it back in order. But you wait till you see what it's gonna look like when I get back to Indiana. That winter is miserable on your yard and your house. It takes a lot more to get it back together up there so till next time thanks for watching bye I thought I would just post one more time before I end this day it was a long day but um, got some work done there's still more to do it's always a work in progress I just wanted to show that show you how I had this lit up at night I love the lights I found this I don't know if you can see it it might be too bright it says beach wow that is bright it is bright it's um just regular light bulbs. Let me go back this way. But it says beach. It's so bright. And then I found these two lighted palm trees. Everything I found was beach. I love it that it says beach. Um, where's Cheeto? Kitty. Cheeto is the bingle. I don't know where he. There he is. Hey, buddy. He lives out here. Hey, man. Hey, pretty boy. What he likes to do is get up on that wall. It's like a um, maybe seven foot up. And he walks along and looks for lizards and tries to catch moths. And he he loves it back here. The fancy cat, she loves it too. Um, first thing in the morning, they're out here until I make them come in uh, to go to bed. But then I, put, I found these LED lights, which I love these LED. I don't know what's wrong with me. I love lighting. But I found these LED lights. They're blue at um, their outdoor lights. I found them on Amazon for like $50, $45. And I just put them along the side, up and down the stairs and ran an extension cord. Um, probably not the prettiest or the best way to do that, but I like it. It's so pretty at night. And I put timers on them. They go on at um, 5 p.m. and then off at 10. Wow, is that bright. I didn't think that would show up so poorly at night. But that's it lit up at night. I'm going to try to go out. I don't want to let Cheeto out. Fancy cat's down to sleep. I just came out this way instead. I didn't want to let the cat out. That would scare me to death. But um, there's my wreath on. I've got it set on a timer. It comes on at like 5 and off at, I think, 10. All the lights do. And um, my tin soldiers, or toy soldiers, turned out so pretty. Uh, they were fine. I had them in the back of the minivan with the cats and the puppy. Um, I just wrapped them up in a um, drop cloth because I had some drop cloths at home in Indiana too because I can't wait to get this house painted. It's going to be awesomeness. So there's a few other people that have their, we pan around here in the dark, a few other people have their Christmas lights up. Not very many, but um, I just did it because I just did it. So that's, and then there my ring goes off. I will probably set it off here. <laughs> so...
That's the um, lit, the pool and every the pool area lit up at night. Gym. I love the gym down here. Um, that nine o'clock tired, but I'm not gonna not go. For now, I'm on the treadmill. I'm gonna do some leg work down there. Um, go over here and lift some free weights. 